Scallops are one of the easiest things to prepare. Follow my tips to get restaurant quality scallops at home. Let's first talk about how to buy scallops. You wanna look for sea scallops. Those are the larger size scallops. These are what you most likely find in the restaurant. Bay scallops are the super tiny ones. I buy them already shucked. So you can shuck them yourself same way you would kind of like an oyster. You wanna look for scallops that are really clean, that just have kind of a sweet ocean smell and that are not slimy. They come pretty clean from the seafood market as is, but one thing you definitely wanna do is remove the little muscle that is attached to the side. This is gonna be really tough and you wanna go ahead and just peel that off. It's super easy to do. The next thing that's very important before you can get that good sear, you've gotta be sure they're nice and dried on the surface. All right, so you wanna start with a nonstick skillet and you wanna get it really hot. To that, I'm gonna add some butter and I like to add in a little olive oil, so the butter obviously for flavor and the oil so that it can withstand that high heat. You wanna figure about three scallops per person. That's a good serving for heavier eaters. You might can go up to four. Now I'm just gonna season my scallops just with salt and pepper. Make sure it's screaming hot. When you put them in, you don't touch them for at least two minutes. That crust is perfect and it's so important. You need that sort of crunch on the outside to balance out that really smooth texture on the inside. These will be cooked about two minutes per side. You want them to be a little bit translucent still in the middle. It's silky smooth in the middle, a lot of flavor on the outside. You can enjoy them just like this, or let me show you how to take it up one more level. Another way you can dress up just simple pan-seared scallops is to make this delicious jalapeno vinaigrette. Pair it with just some simple rice pilaf and some citrus. So good. See what I mean? Restaurant quality at home for half the price. All right, my next restaurant quality scallop dish is going to be scallops with angel hair and a lemon cream sauce. Doesn't that sound fancy? A little trick if you want, if you don't want such big pieces of scallop in a pasta dish, you can cut your scallop in half and they'll cook faster. I'm gonna simply season them and sear them just like we did before. All right, I've removed the scallops. I've got my scallops and the pasta ready. Now I'm gonna make a quick pan sauce. I'm gonna add in a little more butter and some garlic. We'll reduce that a little bit, add in some heavy cream and some fresh basil. Come on y'all, that looks good. Admit it. All right, I'm gonna give it a little more basil on the top. This, my friends, is the perfect bite scallop edition. And for my final trick, I am not gonna sear scallops, but I'm going to turn them into scallops most famous dish, Coquille Saint Jacques. Basically, this is scallops enjoyed in a creamy, cheesy sauce put under the broiler. Very indulgent, very delicious. I've got some mushrooms and shallots that I have been cooking in some butter. And now I'm gonna add in some white wine and we're gonna set our scallops in here to poach. I'm gonna let these poach just a couple minutes on each side. They're not gonna be cooked all the way through because they're going a second round in the oven. So we don't wanna overcook them. Okay, I've just added in some heavy cream. I'm gonna bring that to a simmer and let it reduce until it's nice and thick. Then we're gonna stir in a little egg yolk to really richen that sauce. Squeeze of lemon and some tarragon. Okay, so classically, this would be prepared in the actual scallop shells, but since I bought my scallops already shucked, you can use some shallow ramekins like this. I think they're super cute. So we have our scallops that have poached, so they're about halfway cooked. I'm gonna spoon the sauce over there, top it with some cheese, and then just a little pinch of either cayenne or paprika. I'm gonna go cayenne, because I like a little bite to it. And then it's ready for the broiler. Yes, yes. A little finishing touch here, and I think we did it. I've taught you how to cook perfect scallops and three delicious dishes to put them in. Remember, it's always more affordable to cook restaurant type dishes at home. And when it comes to perfectly seared scallops and three ways to use them, you can cook that. A perfectly cooked scallop is going to have a good golden crust on the outside. That is very important. If it doesn't come to me like that, it's going back. Just kidding. <laughs>